Okay, isn't this funny? I literally put rose petals in my boobs. This is for all the men who called me ugly. These are for you, motherfucker. Anyway, um, I kind of wanted to talk for a second about how to deal with kind of, um, I was, I was thinking about the way that I responded to the lip gloss video and the one I just posted, but there's some stuff I left out and I kind of wanted to say it. So like some people are, a lot of women are being okay with this like situationship sort of, they're being, they're accepting hookup culture and situationships as though it's the norm. It isn't the norm. Like you have to set these boundaries for yourself where when somebody basically tells you like you're not worth it and I'm not going to treat you correctly. Like men know how to treat women correctly. All men. Poor men, rich men, but men do this thing where they just, they'll treat you with whatever way they feel is they'll get away with. Right? So whatever way they feel they'll get away with, that's how they're going to treat you. And they, they'll treat somebody else who they just feel like they can't get away with in a different way. So that if they think a girl is rich, they'll treat her one way. If they think a girl is poor, they'll treat her another way. And that's what men do. So for a very long time, a lot of men all over the world and over society believe that black women are poor, so they treat them a certain way. So that's why a lot of black women are struggling with like dating. Uh, but here's the thing. Um, you still have to date yeah, well, if, you, if you want to. If you want to be in a, a healthy relationship with someone, you're going to have to date a lot of frogs. And everyone goes through that. And what happens is you, you date someone and you realize that they're probably going to treat you poorly. That's just how it always, it always starts like that. So it, it kind of starts with this very hard place where you are having to correct everyone all the time. You're like, don't do this to me. Don't blah, 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 blah. And especially like you have to go on dates outside. So these can start with like not spending any money where you just, you know, you don't spend any money on anyone. You just kind of meet them. You, you go on a walk with them or something and you go on coffee with them. If you don't like it, then just don't go again. But, you know, go, right? And then this should build up to dinner dates, which should build up to a relationship. And if there's something that goes wrong, you might go on a lot of dates and they're not leading anywhere. But you have to go on dates. There's always gonna be something. Some people are thinking it's just about attractiveness. Like, oh, I just have to be like the hottest version that I can be. Now definitely like put your best face on, but all that is, is like a shower. And if it's a girl, just kind of styling your hair in some way, whatever way that is, that's really all you have to do. Just put on clothes and go out. So if you do that, then now you just respond to the date like how is this person treating you how is blah 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 and a lot of other things like guys get judged on money and uh their career but girls don't get judged on that girls are judged on like maybe purity beauty um class hierarchy i don't know other things it's more about mostly the fact that you have a vagina though that's that's basically what it is there's not something else so you know if you have a vagina and you want to date then you know just if you don't like the way that someone's treating you you have you say it out loud and I think that so many black women are just accustomed to dealing with trash that they don't say it out loud and you need to so it's not that other girls out here are like prettier than you they're just like setting more boundaries and so there's this assumption that you know some girls are harder to get than other girls like every girl is hard to get that's the truth but um there's just like a lot of stereotypes about you know who's not I mean if if there's if there's any uh hope or whatever like white society is very happy to deal with Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian who are entire porn stars. So if they can come back from that, anybody can come back from really anything. There's no bar. Like, I mean, those women's heads were in like the toilet. But it's not, they, have, they aren't the, the first or the only. Like, you know, many women out here have had awful stories about sex that have just been very harmful to their reputation. That's a thing that happens when you're a woman. And I think you just kind of get used to that over time and you just kind of figure out how to have tougher skin you know um yeah having tougher skin is kind of necessary because guys will just do mean things but i just wanted to say that you just have to have some boundaries for yourself and um i don't know i guess another thing i've learned over time is that like when a guy likes you you'll, you'll know like you don't have to like wonder like you'll know and so you might go for a a significant amount of time where there's just not guys around you who like you like I told you guys the story like being in the Bay Area being in Silicon Valley whatever I have going on is not attractive here like my look like black women are not the the like how do you say it like the style or whatever like it's not cool to it's not pretty to have a pretty girl on your arm here but that doesn't mean that it has nothing to do with me though I don't look at myself and I'm like oh my god Olivia you're so ugly I don't think that I did think that for a while because it was just so strange to 
to know like how pretty I am and still have there be like no men but that's not a reflection of me that's more of a, a reflection of the men and you know it's like they're lost you know because there's nothing I can do about it I can't like I can't change them if like you know and that's I think that's another thing that lip gloss is going to have to understand about society like you can't change men there are going to be some men who just do not like you and you don't have to like you don't have to go around those men like do you guys think that like every girl who's not who's like non-black or something that every guy likes them like no there's always there's always going to be guys who don't like you and there's always going to be guys who do like you what you want to do is just give attention to guys who do like you and who are nice and who have something going for themselves really technically everyone always has something going for themselves but also just don't let people you know be be disrespectful to you like you know have think of yourself as worthy because you are like you are as a woman as a black woman are worthy if you need to hear that from me i'm saying it to you um there are guys in society though for, for whatever reason they do not think that black women are worthy and that's their problem you should just let those guys continue to be hateful wherever they are let them thrive in their hateful corner because that's what they've been doing and especially like the black men who continue to like how do you say like try to profit off of the necks of black women I think it's gross, but I'm just happy that there are other black women who are capitalizing on it in a way. But I just wish that, you know, everything wasn't about like hyper sexualization. Don't get me wrong. I think you should be comfortable in your sexuality. That's the thing. But I also don't think it needs to be a commodity. Like for someone like Chloe, the singer Chloe Bailey, you know, I just think she's so talented. So I would just like to see her talents. But she's a really good singer. I would like to see her sing. She's like an Adele type of singer. Like she could really, she, her and Hallie can like really blow. So, you know, I, I want to hear them sing. I feel like some of the songs that she's releasing now just don't uh, enable her to do that. So I don't know, whatever. That's just how I feel. But.